Matthew here at bathtubrenew.com and I've got a few comments about people saying, well, what about crosshatch adhesion test? All right, so we got the crosshatch here. Interesting thing, what we're putting it head to head with, there's another crosshatch there. We are putting it, we are putting it head to head with, with different primer. Same top coat, different primer. All right, I'm gonna spin this around and we'll see how she does. So we got our masking tape here. This tile, I've got notes on the back. This one has been etched cross-link. It has Hawk Labs Prime and Summit Coatings Top Coat. And we're gonna do the cross hatch on this guy. Put our tape on there really good. And we got nothing. Not even a speck. There you go. Nothing's coming off. So, etched, etched, crosslink, Hawk Labs Prime, Summit Coatings Top Coat. That cross passes the cross, the cross hatch adhesion test. Now, it should be noted that these were both done and tested the exact same way. This one and this one over here were left to dry for five days. They were coated, they were left to dry for five days. After the fifth day, on the sixth day, they were put in a five gallon pail of water with four and a half gallons in it. They were put at the bottom of the, of the bucket and they're on an angle like this. So they're completely submerged and they have water pressure pushing on them. They were left in there for three full days. They were taken out, they were let dry for one day and then we did the scratch test on it. Um, if you look on here, you can see it's been etched. What's interesting is the razor blade, it just kind of cut into the prime. It actually didn't peel it off the tile. It just cut into the prime. You probably can't really see it. Well, you can there a little bit. The primer is actually still on the tile. So that one's that one. Etched Crosslink Cock Labs, some according to Stopco. So now this one is done, tested the exact same way, but this is uh, with Midwest Chemical Aerospace Prime. So it's etched Crosslink Midwest chemical airspace prime and the same thing here you can see that in cutting into it it just cut into the primer and it, it's really stuck good too i would use either one of these systems on a bathtub it wouldn't i i don't think they would they absolutely wouldn't fail and we'll test this one it's cross link cross hatch adhesion test on this one. Oh, we got a little bit to pull off on that one yeah look at that guys We'll do it one more time, see how much we can get to pull off. Yeah. There we go. So that's a head to head. They're both prepped the exact same way. Little triangles that popped off on this one. They're both prepped the exact same way. They're both tested the exact same way. They both have cross link on both of them. They are both etched cross link. And this one is Midwest Chemical Prime. This one is Hawk Labs Prime. Both have the same type of top coat. Identical top coat. There we go. So this is a 10 out of 10. And this would be, I don't know, like a, a 9.8 out of 10. It, it's still pretty good. You could put this on a tub. It would last years. It wouldn't fail. It's stuck really good. You know, so not too bad. Way to go with both these companies. Either one of these products would still work for you, but... You looking for something that's superior? Well, on my end, it's this one, the Hawk Labs Prime beat it out. Not by much though, but it did beat it out. And I'm Matthew from Bath to Renew, and we will see you guys on the next video. We'll see what we're testing next. I think we're gonna do top coat head to head. So we did this prime head to head, we're gonna do top coat head to head. All right guys, bye.